Yes, yes. I know you want me to call him, and I'll call him right now. You know what, guys? You've been asking me to call him for a while now, and I know it's smarter to call him sooner rather than later. So, I'll just do it right now, then. Show sure, you guys. Yes, is this the pizza guy? No, I am a hitman. Yes, that was a test. It is a hitman I want. By the way, you sound like you're in a garage right now. Well, who says I'm not? <laughs> er, well, yes, that is fine. My associates and I just wanted to hire you to take out a man by the name of Dr. Pokchop. We believe he is working for the Mafia, and we want you to take him out. We'll give you one million dollars. His last known location was the Den of Inequity. Go there, find him, take him out, bring us back to his body, we'll give you the money. Alright. Hey! Where do I bring him? Hey? Hello? Hello? Uh, well, okay then. I'm just... I'm just gonna go kill him. Wait, wait, wait. This is not what we need for the intro of the movie. We need something that's going to represent it, not something just weird and random. Choose another song, guys. It will probably be okay, but don't use this one. I'm out heaven. Nope, nope. I'm stopping it right there. You guys obviously do not understand how to do this. Let me take over. I have the perfect song. You guys suck.
Put you at ease. Now I see it hasn't put you at ease. It's done the exact opposite. <clears throat> I am Dr. Pokeshop. <laughs> I wouldn't try and uh, do that, Mr. Hitman. I've already got the gun locked and loaded. Ready to fire at your face. Good choice, Mr. Hitman. You see, let's get down to business, because I don't have a die. Uh, you were obviously hired to kill me, and I believe I know who hired you to kill me. And here's some proof. He called you on the phone yesterday, or maybe today. I don't know what day it was, but he asked first off if you were the pizza guy or not. Mm, I see by the look on your face, I'm right, because I am. And then, he doesn't tell you the location, where to bring the body afterwards. Well, hmm, I could see again, I'm right. And that's because that guy has had me for years, trying and trying to give me. It's not happening, I'll tell you that much. Every person who sent after who he sent after me, I escaped from. And now you are trying to give me. But I don't wanna leave you because I feel like you have something different. Most people don't run after me for that long. So I'm gonna make you a proposal. Okay. He didn't give you a location to bring the body, but I will. And the body I want is him. He works for the mafia. Not I. I work to try and defeat the Mafia. So here's what I propose. Give you two million dollars if you bring his body to me. Now I have a phone I will give you if you accept this offer. This, you can call me with this phone, okay? If you call me with the phone, I will answer. We can meet somewhere. Now remember, only call me once because it will self-destruct after you call me. Now, that's my proposal. And I won't be running away because I want his body for personal reasons. You can tell me that. You can, you can make it. I think it's pretty clear at this point. <laughs> so, if you don't accept my offer, I'll shoot you in the head right now. If you do accept it, we can do business. And so, in any questions? I don't care who I'm murdering as long as I'm getting paid. So, I'll take your deal. Ah, I see you're a smart man. Well, here's the phone. Call me what you have the body. I'll leave it right here. Now, his name is Albuquerque Pickle. And you need to go get him. Here's my advice. Find his henchmen. I believe they are in some sort of camouflaged fort of some sorts. Maybe you know the place. It's a place where the bad dudes like to hang out, if you know what I mean. Find them. They'll tell you the information on how to get to Albuquerque. Then, you know what to do from there. Well, I best be going now. <coughs> Must be going now. 
Uh, I have very important things to do. Definitely does not involve killing anyone. I, I would never do such a thing. Please. Seems like the world today, eh? Don't even know who I'm talking to. Ah, good thing I know where that camouflage place is. Ah. Ah. I'm glad we chose this place to hide. There's no, nobody will find us here. There's nobody in here. Oh, we're good to go. Yeah, I agree. Ah, it's camouflage. And because it's camouflage, well, nobody will be able to find us even if they look and uh, shrink us around in the forest. <laughs> we chosen the perfect place to hide. Yeah, really have. Hey, oh no! Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm bloody. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Bunny. You guys know what I'm after. Now you don't. You Mr. Monkey. I know you're talking even though you ain't moving. Okay. I know you're the talker of this group. Now I'm gonna say one thing to you. Tell me where your master is. The one who called me. How do, how do you even know that we are his associates? Oh. Because it makes sense. He told me it would be in a camouflage tent. And you were too alert. So I just assumed you were his associates. I know you are his associates. Tell me where he is. No. You better tell me where he is, Bob. How do you know my name is Bob? You just look like a Bob. Ugh. You know what? I'm done with this foolery. You're not gonna tell me where he is, unless so you end up like what I'm about to do to him. Okay? <laughs> so, I play a hard ball. And what I do to him is gonna be so much worse than what I do to you. Oh. Uh, I made it the other way. So, you want to tell me where your boss is? Don't get to uh, finish him off myself. Oh well. Uh, only took me two days to find him at least. Uh, I'm getting better and better as time goes on. Up. Oh, might as well call him now. I don't think. I don't think anybody's around. Uh, what's this phone number? escape while well, you've been searching for the man I killed.
my hands right. What am I doing right now? Probably celebrating on a yacht or something. Now I have the time of my life. No, I never felt like this before. Yes, I swear it's a truth. And I owe it all to you. Rose, I can do this. He, his smell is on this phone. I don't even know who I'm talking to right now, but his smell is on this phone. I can take it to some dogs or some wolves. Yes, yes, the Wolf Academy. Or maybe, I don't remember what it's called exactly. I watched off that. I'll take it to them. They can sniff him and they can find him. They're known to be great trackers. I may not bring in the case yet. Okay, boss, you have to watch this. This is incredible. Well, yeah, I better have to watch this because I am the boss. I have things to do, and if you're wasting my time... Wait, that doesn't even look like a wolf. That looks like a person. Well, uh, yeah. we've been incorporating uh, werewolves recently. They're not, they're not quite werewolves, they're a bit of a mix in between, but, uh, yeah. Where? I ain't even know about this, but I don't care, as long as people are still renting them out and stuff. That's good. So, what are you showing me right now? It seems fine. Well, this is a past tape. This was just today. Um, you need to just... Look, he's about to do it. This is, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. You gotta watch. Watch this, watch, 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 watch. Where, where did he go? I, yeah, that's the problem. We don't know where he went. He just disappeared. Well, have you gone out there to check yet? No, well, we a little bit scared. We don't want to go out there and look for him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was horrifying. Sorry about a little bit of a way we were uh, doing something in here. Uh, so, you'll be wanting a wolf then? Yes, I'd be liking a wolf for two days' rent. Ah, uh, don't worry about the price, young man. You can take one of our wolves for free. Well, here, the wolf is uh, wearing red. Well, his fur is red, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah just a like, um, we, we, we want to get rid of him for free, uh, um, we, we, because we have an overpopulation of wolves right now, so, yeah, you can take him for free and you can not bring him back, we don't want him, too many wolves. Yeah, I understand, okay, sorry about that, my associate wants to talk to me, oh, I'm get, but I can't, bro, oh, I have to get a new one, oh, uh, See you around, or maybe not, just don't come back. Okay then. Oh, yes, I finally found it. Now that is a mighty fine specimen of wolf. <laughs> Oh, would you look at that? 
my best friend. Okay, little Wolfie. See this phone? You're gonna sniff it. And you're gonna take me to the person who you smell at it, okay? You always go work. You're a good trapper. I know you can do it. And, uh, I'll just open this up so you can escape. Here you go. some reason. Uh, well, that was my only bullet, so uh, he looks pretty mad. Uh, I should probably run again. Hopefully I'll find another door. Oh my gosh. You're not getting away this time. This is a, you know, this is actually perfect time. Remember that time I didn't kill you back in your place? I had to go and point at you. I let you go. You know why? It's because I respected you. I did. You chased after me for so long. That's something most him men just gave up on. And really didn't respect you, so I let you live. 
and you keep coming after me. It makes me even respect you even more. But why are you even coming after me? Yeah, you don't get the money anymore from anyone. I killed the person who's giving me money. What's the point of still going after me? Because you made it personal. You caused me to make a fool of myself. You tricked me. And you killed my best friend. You made it personal. Ah, uh, okay then. Well, back to that, uh, that part where I didn't kill you. Uh, don't you think you should let me go? You know, like that paid off. Mean. You don't you think that's a debt that you should owe me? Rest in peace, Dr. Polkchop. I rest in pieces. A hitman always gets the job done. Being a hitman involves pain. As I walk through the valley of the and luck of running. Look at my life and it's not but it also involves thrill. Fun. And most certainly a lot of money. I love being a hitman. And I always will stay one. I really hate the trip, but I got a low So I'll be waiting in my garage. Waiting on my next call. Waiting on my next victim.